Hey, so um, I've been following a tutorial online on how to make an incremental game. The game's quite simple. You press this button down here and you get some gold. You can upgrade that button so that you get more gold per click or you can upgrade the game so that you get gold per second. I'll put the tutorial on in the description if you want to build a game that's similar. Uh, but what the tutorial doesn't cover is if you stop the game and then run the game again it resets so I want to just implement a little uh, feature that will just load the, the amount of gold that you've saved that you had last time you played uh, I'm going to use the Unity Art documentation is great and I'm going to use this play prefs to store the gold now normally you wouldn't save data like on progress in play prefs because it only stores simple things uh, and it's easy to modify. In fact if you look down here you can see where the files are stored and players can just go in and edit the preferences with a text editor. So what that means is say I've got 500 gold they can just edit this file and change that to 5000 but I'm not too bothered because it's not an online game people don't have to buy gems or any of that crap so there's not much to you know to lose. They're only cheating themselves if they edit this. So I'm going to use player prefs to save and load the amount of gold that the player has. I know the game doesn't look that great at the moment, but I need to implement the save before I before I do all my well making it look a bit better. So the first thing you want to do is find the script that updates or keeps your score or your gold in this project it's called click and it's called click because uh, it's attached to this button here and every time you click it it uh, increases the gold by one and then there's this update function which is like constantly running really which is changing this uh, over here this text to display the gold that you've got so I'm going to edit this in mono develop uh, here we are. So this is quite a simple script. Now up here this gold flow uh, is a flow <laughs> that stores the amount of gold that the player has. So uh, zero to start off with. What I want to do is create a function uh, called awake. I can't spell. There we go. Awake. <clears throat> what this does is it will run the first time it'll only run and it'll only run once uh, the, when this script is called so at the start of the game it will when it's awake <laughs> it will do this once and in this function it will check if we've got a player preference uh, that says how much gold we've got so I need an if statement if and then player prefs uh, yeah, the good thing about mono developers it just finishes your your sentences for you. It tells you what functions are available and that kind of stuff. Uh, has key, so we want to check if it already exists. If the player preference for gold exists, uh, we'll call it gold. And then curly brackets. So, oh, that was not what I wanted to do. Let's try again. Flipping egg, I've messed this up. Right, let's. We want it to say gold. There we go. <laughs> That's better. So if the is a gold, uh, play pref preference with the uh, ID gold, uh, well, the key gold, then we want to make gold equal. That I'm, what's in the player preference so we put in here we put gold then equals player prefs dot get in uh, float sorry because we're getting a float that's going to be stored in there uh, and then the key which is gold I mean you don't have to say gold you can call it score whatever uh, we don't need this to be set to that there. Actually, I'll just copy that and delete that. 
else. So if there is, so if it does exist, then we set gold to equal whatever it exists. Else, gold equals zero. That was from up here. So when it awakes first time, we check if it has a player preference with a key goal, uh, gold. If not, sets it to zero. If it does, then that's great. <laughs> so, but the problem is um, we need to save the gold at some point. So when, it's okay loading the gold from the last session, but it needs to be saved as well. Right, so this update function down here is what's updating the display. So the gold display dot text uh, is this thing up here and that's been updated constantly by the script so why don't we also save at the same time that that's updated so back to mono develop it's just one line under here which is again we'll use player prefs uh, this time I really recommend mono develop because I, mean, I can't remember what you have to type here to save the <clears throat> the the gold or the whatever to the player preference, but you just type player preference, put your dot, and it will tell you. So set flow, that sounds right, doesn't it? Then it also tells you what you need. So we need a key and a value. So let's set flow. Uh, the key was gold, uh, and there's the value. So comma, and the value is gold. Now this. It's a little bit confusing, uh, but what we've got here is because this is in quotes, it's setting the string gold to the key, and then we, that's not in quotes, so it's taking the float gold and storing that uh, as the play pref. So it's just setting the play preference gold to whatever the value of gold is, if that makes sense. So now we press play, and so this, if I buy some gold this is constantly updating for five this is because I've just purchased an upgrade which adds gold per second and what should be happening is every time that's updated uh, where's mono develop it's also saving the the gold to the player preferences so if I stop that and load it again it didn't work so why did that not work so there's a very obvious reason why that didn't work uh, <laughs> which is because I didn't save the script so you have to go to file save obviously uh, and then once you've done it it set, this remembered this number from last time, 6 uh, now I've got 26, stop, start 26 um, so the one thing that this hasn't saved, uh, you can't really see very well on here because I have not sorted the colours out, is that when you click one of these the cost goes up uh, and when I stop and start the cost is the same again. Now actually that's not too hard to sort out because wh how this game, well it's not too hard for this game if you've been following the tutorial, because what this game does is it has um, these, two item, these two managers which manage the scripts and there's a uh, in there, there is a variable called count, not an institute called count, and that counts how many times you purchased the upgrade. So all I've got to do is do the same again, but saving counts for the upgrade items and the other items. So, so that's it. I guess you could use it for your own game. It's quite easy to sort of store and save very simple things using that. Uh, people can edit it, but so what, you know. As long as you don't go putting it in your big projects, which I guess you wouldn't be watching this shitty little video, would you, if you had a big project on?